Nagsimula tayo sa anim na talentadong kuponan. Dalawa na po ang nalaglag at ngayon ang mga natitirang kuponan ay sasabak sa susunod na bahagi ng Premier Volleyball League. Ito po ang semifinals ng Reinforced Conference ng PVL. Dalawang mainit na bakbakan ang ating matutunghayan starting off with the Cool Smashers taking on the number one ranked Water Defenders. At pagkatapos nun, mapapanood din natin ang sagupan sa pagitan ng Power Smashers, ang number two ranked team at ang Lady Warriors ng Pokari Sweat. Ito po ang semifinals. Live mula dito sa Phil Oil Flying V Center sa SNA at pinabati din namin ang lahat ng aming mga kababayan watching via SNA HD on Sky Cable Channel 166 all over the world via the Filipino Channel. At nice din po namin batiin ang lahat ng mga nakatutok sa pamamagitan ng live streaming sa number one sports website in the country, sports.abs-cbn.com. Ako po ang inyong lingkod, Anton Rojas, kasama si Andrew Mulia at si Janine Choi. Girls, eto na, simula na ng panibagong bahagi ng ating tournament, ang semifinals ng PVL. Tama ka dyan at syempre, ang daming taong talagang nag-aabang nito dahil ito yung ating uh, top teams na ano, maglalaban-laban. At Janine, uh, mainit ang bakbakan sa pagitan ng dalawang kukunan na ito na unang sasabak sa semifinals dahil nga hindi pa nananalo ang Cool Smashers kontra sa Water Defenders. Tama ka dyan, Anton. Today is a very exciting day because it's day one of the semifinals and in a matter of a few minutes, we will be witnessing an exciting volleyball game between the Water Defenders and the Cool Smashers. So pag-usapan muna natin ng Water Defenders kung saan sila ay nagtapos with a 7-3 record sa ating elimination round. Kaya naman nakuha nila ang number one overall seed. Punta naman tayo sa panic ng Cool Smashers kung saan tinalo nila ang Lady Jet Spikers sa huling araw ng quarterfinals kaya nakuha nila ang final ticket sa semifinals. Silipin natin ngayon ang naging uh, standings sa quarterfinals at, at syempre uh, nandito na tayo sa semifinals ano, tapos sa uh, number one ranked team versus the number four ranked team we have the Cool Smashers taking on uh, Gretzel Sultan as a squad itong uh, Water Defenders. Tama ka dyan. At uh, alam natin no, na ang uh, naging uh, format natin dito, of course, we had the top two teams already na nag-advance sa semifinals at hinintay nila kung sino makakasungkit ng uh, number three and number four spots. At ito na nga yun, ang best of three series na lalaroin natin between these teams, which, you know, Anton, ito, and, and Janine, ito, uh, very, very exciting semifinals dahil uh, um, ngayon, with the reinforcements, um, everything, uh, the, the teams gelling together at yung mas matagal na silang nakakapaglaro together, talagang sigurado tayong magandang larong makikita natin mula sa mga kabunang ito. Sinabi nga ni Janine, 7 and 3 ang Water Defenders sa preliminary round. 2 and 1 naman ang Cool Smashers in the quarterfinal round. So, hindi naging madali ang daan nila patungo dito sa semifinals. Tama ka dyan, Anton. Hindi talaga, naging, hindi talaga naging madali ang pumasok dito sa semifinals. Kaya naman mga kapamilya, alamin natin kung ano pa ang kinailangan pagdaanan ng Water Defenders at ng Cool Smashers para makapasok dito sa Final Four. Panoorin natin ito. Maagang nagpakilala ang mas pinalakas na kuponan ng Water Defenders led by Coach Roger Goreyem sa inaugural season ng Premier Volleyball League. Kung saan apat na kuponan ang agaran nilang napatumba sa first round of the eliminations. The boar, tossing it up. Soltores! The boar. Malabana breaks down the wall and gives the Water Defenders the historic first victory. Turkey Giselle C. Soltones, leading scorer. Wow, sakto pa sa linya. Depensa ang ginamit ng Water Defenders para tapusin ang laban na ito kontra sa Lady Warriors na baon pa rin. Oh, oh what a serve by Palad. But recovered by the Water Defenders and they get the point. Over-received. And that's it. Pero hindi naging madali para sa Water Defenders na makarating sa tuktok ng standings. As they suffered five set losses to the Perla Spikers no May 13. At sa defending champions, ang Lady Warriors noong May 18. 
Look at that. That's the advantage. But through the help of their foreign reinforcements, Nasila Jennifer Keddy. Keddy, again, efficiency rate. At Jang Bo Lee noong second round, Abor will go back to Bali with a quick hit. The water defenders swept the Lady Jet Spikers. She's now putting on the finishing touches. But nearly survived Team Perlas and the Cool Smashers as they needed to finish both games in five thrilling sets. Soltones soaring and scoring for the win. With a 7-2 win-loss slate, the Water Defenders formally clinched the first outright semifinals berth of the PVL. Sa kabilang banda, maraming pinagdaanan ng kupuna ni Coach Tai Bundit para makatungtong sa semifinal round. It's a kill block for Andrea Marzan to get the win here. Over receive. Valdez back row at the end of Defenders, the board. Seven match points. Soltones. Semana, pinigay sa kabila kay Yoko. And that's it. It took a while before the team got the right rhythm as they won only four out of ten games during the elimination round. To Dao. And Gutika is able to end the match para sa Cool Smashers. But the Cool Smashers proved their doubters wrong nung sumabak sila sa quarterfinals. Eliza Valdez, together with their reinforcements in Kutika Kaupin, and Laura Shout, roof by Shout, so outlasted the Perla Spikers to open the round. For the win, Eliza Valdez. that one in. Valdez fading back. They may have dropped another painful five-setter against the Lady Warriors no May 30. But the team quickly recovered from it and swept the Lady Jet Spikers last June 1, earning them a sweet reward after their long and hard journey. The last seat in the semifinals. Soriano at tinapos na ni Pao Soriano ang laban. Mas exciting at mas kapanapanabik na bakbakan na naman ang ating matutong ngayon as the number four team goes up against the number one team of the league. The Water Defenders versus the Cool Smashers para sa best of three semifinal series ng PBL Reinforced Conference. You know, Anton and Anne, there are so many reasons that makes today's game so interesting. First of all, Alex is going up against her previous coach, the Cream Lion Smashers. Only had a 4-10 record coming into the semi-finals. So, ang dami talagang dapat abangan sa game na to. Mga kapamilya, make sure you tweet us at ABS-CBN Sports and also use the hashtag PVL on ABS-CBN for your comments and insights on the match. Also, please check out our exclusive Instagram account at ABS-CBN underscore sports for exclusive photos. Also, keep up to date on all things about the Premier Volleyball League by checking out the number one Philippine sports website, sports.abs-cbn.com Also, Anton, here yes. in the Premier Volleyball League, meron tayong karagdagang feature kung saan binibigyan natin ang ating mga kapamilya ng first-person point of view ng mga kaganapan dito sa San Juan Arena. At yun talaga yung inaabangan namin ni Anne. <laughs> <laughs> ang, ang, ang ganda nitong na-capture ng Ronda Cup. <laughs> so, guys, ganito ang, ang pre-game. Yes, ganito mahaba -haba. ang pre-game habits ni Janine Choi. <laughs> Sayang di nakuha yung kay Anton. <laughs> <laughs> Sandali lang yung akin eh. Gano'n ka ba, gano'n ba, Gano ka ba katagal umupo dyan, Janine? Kasi ako, wala pang isang minuto, tapos na eh. Actually, enjoy mag-stay dyan. Maraming chikahan na nagaganap. Correct. Oh. Also, Anton, dito ngayong season, meron tayong karagdagang feature kung saan ang ating mga kapamilya ay pwedeng makisaya at makasama ang kanilang mga paboritong players via our mobile photo booth dito lamang sa San Juan Arena na nakikita nyo sa inyong mga screen. Ayan, ang mga tagahanga ng Cool Smashers, as always, naka-hot pink. Very cute. Ayaw pa rin tapusin ang summer kasama ang kanilang mga big face cutouts. Ayan, 
sina Cheska, Colleen, Alaysa at Coach Tai. Siyempre, hindi mawawala dyan si Coach Tai. Janine, maraming salamat sa iyong mga you, updates. Anton. Abangan pa namin ni Anne ang iyong mga interviews. Pero sa aming pagpabalik, pag-uusapan pa namin ni Anne itong ang una nating semifinals match sa pagitan ng Cool Smashers at Water Defenders. Huwag po kayong aalis. Ito po PBL dito sa SND. Sa ilang sandali, magharap na dito sa Phil Oil Flying V Center ng Cool Smashers at ang Water Defenders ang unang bahagi ng ating semifinals match ngayong araw. Sa unang araw ng semifinal round ng Premier Volleyball League dito lang sa SNA. Muli ako po si Anton Rojas at si Andrew Mulya Kanda kasama ko ngayon para himayin itong ating unang semifinals match sa pagitan ng Cool Smashers at ang kubuna ni Coach Roger Goraev ang Water Defenders. At kanina ko pa binabanggit an, na itong Cool Smashers ganado sapagkat hindi pa sila nananalo kontra sa Water Defenders dito sa PVL. At ito namang Water Defenders sabik na sabik ng maglaro dahil siyam na araw nakalipas mula nung huli silang sumabak sa aksyon dito sa PVL. Tama ka dyan, Anton. Kaya today will definitely be an interesting game kung uh, makikita natin ngayon sa ating mga screens. Ano? Ito yung uh, nangyari nung huling nagtapat ang Water Defenders the first time they met in May 16. Uh, apat na set ang nilaro ng dalawang kopanana nakuha ng Water Defenders. May 23 but it was a different story dahil palitan ng set na naipanalo nitong dalawang kopanan. But in the end, it was still the Water Defenders that won this match. Ngayon, tulad nga ng sinabi mo, Anton, makikita natin ano, ano yung uh, magiging, maaring maging epekto para sa water defenders uh, ng uh, kanilang pahinga at uh, ganun din naman for the cool smashers ano dahil sila naman very very eager to uh, try and get back at uh, this team na hindi pa nila natatalo so far in this conference. At ang kailangan natin ni point out sa pangalawang pagharap ng dalawang kupunan na ito, Alisa Valdez was laboring. She she was hurt, her right ankle uh, was giving her problems, hindi siya nag-start. And she came off the bench only scoring two points in that second uh, meeting sa preliminary round. So, magbabago ang storya dito sa semifinals now that the Cool Smashers have a healthy Eliza Valdez. Pero kung healthy ang Cool Smashers, mas healthy naman ang Water Defenders kasi mahaba nga ang karilang oras ng pahinga papunta dito sa semifinal round. Tama ka dyan, Anton. At bukod pa dyan, syempre, itong uh, Water Defenders, they had enough time ano, to really scout and watch and study uh, the way uh, the Cool Smashers are playing. So yung mga ikot, yung mga strategy, yung mga iba-ibang uh, uh, pwestuhan at uh, substitution na pag-aralan ng uh, Water Defenders. Yan. So today will really be interesting no, kung paano nila sasagutin as we take a look at uh, uh, kanilang stats nung uh, kanilang nakaraang uh, pagkikita where You'll see, Anton, hindi naman nalalayo ang uh, kanilang performance when it comes to uh, attacking and uh, blocking. But it was really the service aces of the power smashers in this match uh, na nagpapahirap para sa water defenders. So, service reception ang kailangan nilang uh, pagtuunan ng pansin. At syempre, si Gretzel Soltones ang aasahan an ng uh, kupuna ni Coach Roger Goreev pagdating sa opensa number 2. Sa dulo ng preliminary round, itong si Gretzel Soltones, a decorated athlete during her years as a member of the San Sebastian Lady Stags. And she is motivated para matulungan ang kanyang kupunan na manatiling unbeaten kontra sa Cool Smashers at makapasok sa finals ng PBL. Tama ka dyan. At bukod syempre kay uh, itong si Gretzel Soltones, actually at a very young age, nakita na natin yung naglalaro. And we've seen her mature and really improve over the years. Kaya naman, uh, ito sa conference, na to, Anton, no? talagang mapapakita ni Gretsch lang kanyang maturity. At ang maganda pa dyan, talagang uh, supportado pa siya ng kanilang mga reinforcements sa lineup. Ngayon naman, puntahan natin itong interview ni Janine Choi kanina kasama si Gretzel Soltones. So Gretsch, anong masasabi mo na kayo ang nagtapos bilang number one team sa elimination round? Hindi naman namin iniisip na kami yung top team ngayon. Uh, ang gagawin lang namin, yung sinasabi sa amin ni Coach na ngayon, iisipin daw namin yung game namin as a championship game niya, starting today. Para sa iyo, saan kayo dapat mag-concentrate para matalo ang Cool Smashers? Uh, siguro sa defense, sa, lalo na sa blocking. Maraming salamat, Gretch. Good luck sa inyo, Mama. Yabalik sa inyo, Anton at Ad.
<laughs> May pakindat-kindat pa si Gretchel sa dulo ng interview na yan. Ha? Seryoso, pero sa dulo, she was Gretchel, a very jolly person as yeah. we know her. That's right. Oh, yung mga volleyball players, yung mga seryoso lang yun sa court, pero off the court, pakikita mo talagang makukulit yung mga yan. At yung mga kaharap ng kubura ni Gretchel, panay good vibes ang uh, kanilang dala dito sa kanilang... Uh, uh, sa tuwing sila'y pumapasok sa volleyball court, the Cool Smashers, of course, that's a team that uh, we've been watching dito sa quarterfinals. At uh, ito, at kanilang mga highlights, itong huling laban nila, which was against the Lady Jet Spikers, which gave them the chance na makalaro dito sa semifinal round. This was an excellent game para sa Cool Smashers. They uh, had a very convincing win. Three set win ito, Anton. At uh, ang dumikit lang na set uh, laban sa Jet uh, Spikers was only the second set. So the first and the third, kita mo ang layo-layo ng kanilang uh, score. And we have to credit the different skill departments. Kita mo naman, throughout, ano, pagating sa opensa, sa blocking, sa kanilang services, talagang ginamit nila lahat ng kanilang uh, armas ano, for them to get those points in. Alam mo, an magkaiba talaga ang uh, storya ng dalawang kupuna na ito dahil kung dominante ang kupuna ni Gretzel Soltones, ito namang kupuna ni Alisa Valdez, hirap sa kabuan ng Reinforced Conference. They've had a lot of tough matches, a lot of five-setters dito sa ating countout na ang PVL. And Alisa Valdez also has dealt with that injured right ankle. Pero kailangan talaga magpakitang gilas nitong si Alisa Valdez despite dealing with all the adversity. But despite that, Anton, kung titignan natin, ano, she still poured in a lot of points. Uh, pagdating sa preliminary round, may 207 points, 59 points naman ang naitala for the quarterfinals. But again, today, um, this game is actually going to be a different story para sa kukunan na to as uh, they, at, ang hirap na kanilang pinagdaanan. So definitely, today, alam natin na pinag-insayuhan nila to, pinaghandaan nila ang uh, pagkikita nila with a team that they haven't defeated yet in this conference. Si Gretzel kanina sa kanyang interview with Janine, seryoso, tapos gaya na sinabi mo, naging makulit sa dulo ng interview. Tignan naman natin si Eliza Valdez, nakausap din siya ni Janine kanina. So Eliza, pag-usapan natin, ano ba yung pagkakaiba ng team niyo when the season began and ngayong nasa semifinals na kayo? Uh, sobrang laki. Uh, nung umpisa, wala kami si Gemma Galanza, wala din kami yung mga imports. So, malaki talaga yung addition na na, and contribution na, na na put nila in the team pagpasok nila. And definitely, uh, yung mga experiences namin throughout the, the tournament talaga, it helped us para makarating dito sa semifinals. Okay, in a matter of a few minutes, magsisimula na yung game nyo against the number one seed, ang Water Defenders. So how is it like going up against your previous coach, Coach Roger Gorayev? Nako, si Coach Roger, ano yun talaga yan, uh, more, more than the skill, lagi talaga niyang nire-remind na it's always a mental game. When you enter the court, it's a 1% skill, it's 99% mind. So yun din lagi ko yung inaalala whenever uh, I go inside the court. So... Yun lang, alalahanin ko din yung mga tinuro niya sa akin para maging proud naman sa akin si Coach Roger. Maraming salamat, Eliza. Good luck sa inyo mamaya. Balik sa inyo, Anton at Ann. Well, a lot of respect all around and I really like how uh, Janine asked eh, eh, about uh, Coach Roger Greb kasi nga nagsama nga si Coach uh, Roger at si Eliza during her time in Ateneo. Definitely and uh, yun nga, no, syempre may pinagsamaan silang dalawa and I'm sure Coach Roger with uh, his credentials, marami rin na-impart yan kay Eliza during his uh, time with Ateneo. So sa lahat ng mga nakatutok ngayon, uh, just share us your thoughts about our first day, our first match dito sa semifinal round and tweet us at ABS-CBN Sports. Yan ang official Twitter account ng ABS-CBN and use the hashtag PVL on ABS-CBN and we are also greeting everybody watching uh, via live stream. Invi we are inviting everybody to watch via live stream. Kasama natin dyan si Sinjin Reyes at si Josh Villanueva na magde-debut ngayon as a live stream analyst. So you can check, check them out at Premier Volleyball League com or sports.abs-cbn.com At syempre, hindi mawawala sa eksena si DJ Louie who is here right now inside the Phil Oil Flying V Center. And when we come back, bakbaka na, ito po ang unang araw ng semifinal round. It is the Cool Smashers versus the Water Defenders dito sa Premier Volleyball League sa SNA.
presenting our officials for this match. First referee, Mr. Nestor Bello, international referee. Second referee, Mr. Erlindo Eusebio, national referee. Before we present our starters, we'd like to say thank you to our friends from ASICS, the official And now, let us welcome our Valley Pure Pure Water Defenders. Let's start off with our team captain, number five, Gretchel Sotones. At number four, Jasmine Nabor. Number 11, Risa Sato. Number 15, Jerily Malabana. Our guest player from Thailand, number seven, Jarensi Boli. And our guest player from the USA, number eight, Jennifer Keddy. Libero, number six, Lizzie Ann Fantone. Head coach, Mr. Roger Gorayev. Calling on our cream line, Cool Smashers. Team captain is number two, Eliza Valdez. Number eight, Gemma Galanza. Number 10, Maria Paulina Soriano. Number 13, Alexis Cabanos. Our guest player from the USA, number 11, Laura Shao. And our guest player from Thailand, number 16, Kutika Kaupin. Libero, number 18, Aurea Francesca Raklakin. Head coach, Mr. Anusorn Tai Bundit. This is match number 37, semi-final. So unlike the last time these two teams played each other, which was back in May 23, we have a healthy and fired up Eliza Valdez, a Valdez that was averaging 19.7 points per match in the quarterfinal round, and a very well-rested water defender, Shamna Araw, uh, ang nakalipas mula nung sila Huling sumabak sa volleyball court. And you mentioned, and more than the rest, it was the chance to improve their plays and scout the opposition. Uh, that's right. I know they had a lot of time actually to do that. So let's see kung ano yung uh, kanilang uh, binahon. At unang atake. Nabor binigay dito kay Jen Boli. And she's able to get the first point para sa kanyang kuburan. Boli, every time uh, you know she plays as a guest player here in the Philippines, palagi yung all out, and uh, that's what we're seeing as well. Ngayon, no, sa kanyang uh, mga puntos na contribute for the water defenders. At exacto yung sinabi ni Gretzel kanina kay Janine na they've worked on their blocking and feeling niya blocking is going to be one of the keys to victory dito sa labra to. So unang puntos kay Boli. Ngayon naman blocking. Got the first kill block of the match. Cabanos, binigay dito combination play para kay Dao. Now, the problem for the water defenders is paano nila mapipigilan ang dalawang kanyon ng Cool Smashers itong 3BB connection ni Valdez at ni Kutika. Kutika, serving it up. Pantone receiving that one. Sato could not get the proper hit. On that quick attack, pero naibalik ng water defenders, and they're off to a good start. Sim very, very uh, simple way, you know, to get that point. Jasmine Abor, much improved player, and has really stepped up, lalo na dito sa taong ito. Laura Shout, ay naman napakasolid ng blocking. Kaya lang. Oh, uh, point. So goes to the cool smashers. Well, despite those violations and enough calls on, on the water defenders, I think one thing that we are seeing is that if not for those calls, palagi pa rin nababantayan ang uh, place ng uh, cool smashers, which goes to show that in the nine day rest that they have, 
talagang pinag-aralan nila itong uh, place ng uh, kanilang kalaban today. At sinabi nga ni Eliza Karina na malaking bagay yung addition ni Gemma Galanza as we see Jeremy Malabanan send that one down the line. Another player who has improved tremendously from what we've seen from her sa UAP itong si Jeremy Malabanan. Now with a pass, back set ni Cabanos para kay Galanza. Wally pops it up. Soltones. Kutika was there. Cabanos, pinigay kay Valdez. Oh! It was a good target for Valdez. Mahaba lang yung kanyang bola. Ngayon naman si Chesca Rakrakin at si Pao Soriano. This team uh, last saw action just two days ago. So, wala talagang pahinga para uh -huh. sa Cool Smashers. And it could be an advantage or a disadvantage for either team. Mm -hmm. Kasi may mga players, syempre, na mas gusto yung sanay sa laro. At syempre, iba yung uh, movement, iba yung pagod. Kapag actual game siya eh. So, but so far, hindi pa naman nagkakaroon ng malaking kalamangan ng kahit sino sa parehong koponan. Six to four ang ating talaan. Risa Sato. Cabanos. Quick attack para kay Soriano. So it's been a neck and neck battle sa pagitan ng dalawang koponan na ito. Good setup by Cabanos for Suryano. Straight to the net on that serve for Eliza Valdez. Ngayon naman si Malabana na magsaserve para sa water defenders. As we see Dao coming off a 17-point performance contra sa Air Force. Nabor, Kedi, and Kedi is uh, one player to look out for. Shempre, wala dito sa Water Defenders. Timeout po na tayo magbabalik pa PBL dito sa SNA. Mga kapamilya, today is a very special day for Eliza Valdez at aminado siya na extra inspired at extra motivated siya maglaro ngayong araw dahil birthday ng kanyang ama. Tatay Roel is turning 56 years old today at mamaya ay may handaan sa kanilang bahay. Sabi ni Ali ay siya ay isang proud daddy's girl. Daddy's girl daw siya dahil siya lang ang nag-iisang babae sa kanilang apat na magkakapatid. Alam niyo, napakasweet mga kapamilya dahil hanggang ngayon ay susuklayan pa rin siya ng kanyang ama. Si Ali... Para kay Ali, maraming magagandang asal ang itinuro ng kanyang ama sa kanya. Katulad na dito, ang pagiging disciplined, trustworthy, at independent. Balik sa inyo, Anton at Ann. Maraming salamat, Janine, and happy birthday kay Tatay Ruel, father of Eliza Valdez. He's always supportive, always at the venue, supporting his daughter. and Happy birthday, and uh, we wish you all the best. 9-6 ang ating talaan, water defenders. Still on top dito sa ating unang semifinals matchup. Ooh, Sultan is sending that one far, far away. It was coming from a poor uh, release, you know, from Gretchel. Pero alam natin, no, pag yung makanyang mga service pumapasok, mahirap din yan na uh, i-receive. Si Sultan is ay nakalabing apat na service aces. The preliminary round. Nabor to a running Keddy. Keddy not in the best position to hit that ball. Ginawa ng parahan, but uh, the blockers of the cool smashers uh, binantayan talaga siya, no? Kitang kita yung play. Alex Cabanas. It's the one point lead para sa water defenders. Ang pinaka-dominanting kukunan sa preliminary round, 7-3. and three. Actually, yung karinang uh, straight set loss kontra sa Power Smashers, we can put an asterisk on that because they already qualified for the semifinal round when they played the Power Smashers. 
At gaya na sinabi ko kanina, kasama rin natin ang ating live stream team today. It's Sinjin Reyes and the debuting Josh Villanueva. Pakinggan natin sila. Between the blocks, si iniiwasan mo daw para sa ating i-minimize natin. Bye! Yung tirag ng pinagbubuhin natin. Or you think, you think your opponent. And we have a service ace coming from the center of the pool smashers. That's Alex Cabanas, which just brings the lead down to one. But our card... And our Cool Smashers are now ahead in the match. Grabe, ang bilis ng palitan na nangyayari dito, Josh. And like yung sabi natin kanina, yung last match ng ating Water Defenders against the Power Smashers, talagang ang ginamit pala ng ating Power Smashers ay yung service. At mukhang yun yun ang ginagamit ng Cool Smashers na formula dito sa ating laro. As we have... Nagdaw! With a very emphatic hit that the crowd loves. Scored. Napansin ko itong si Dao, ang favorite niyang palo ay pa-cross-court, no? Eh, well, for me, it's very good. Ayun po, si Sinjin Reyes at si Josh Villanueva. At eto, pahinggan muna natin si Coach Roger. Nag-practice na tayo niyan kahapon, eh. Huwag kang dumikit, yung usog ka ng oldies. Kasi baka nyo naman na nyo. Kasi baka nyo. Yun naman siya, eh. Then, may attack is the one's this direction. You have to move to the left. No, 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 no. She's spiking here. And you're, you're blocking here. If the, if the ball is too close to the net, get the cross court. So that it won't pass. Turn it yours! In! Don't block, don't block! Still serving. Number 13, Alex Cabanos. Ayan po, nanay ni Alex Cabanos. Ma'am Anna Cabanos, very proud mom because Alex just graduated recently yep. from USD with a degree in speech pathology. Oh, and always present din yan. Mm -hmm. Very supportive. 11 to 9 for the cool smashers, which is why Coach Roger was very frustrated sa huddle na yun. Dahil sinasabi niya sa kanyang mga players na pinag-aralan na nila kung paano depensahan yung mga atake ni Dao. Yes, it's this time that the uh, net violation from the two smashers. And daming net violation so far ano, here in, in, in the first set. Both teams really eager to get that net defense. Lakrakin, binigay dito kay Dao. So much force. That's what she's been known for since we've seen her play dito sa PVL, her power. You'll see it's that same cross-court target. Pero talagang ang bilis at ang lakas nung uh, bola. Laura Shout. Much is expected from her dito sa semi-final round. Another uh, net violation being called here on the Cool Smashers. Serving for the water defenders. Cabanos, back set for Galanza. Galanza. Too strong on that spike. We're tied at 12. At tabla na tayo, Ed. This has been uh, the story of the first set. Konti lang yung nilalamang palagi, ano, na whoever the team is that has the lead, one or two points, ang namimaintain nila ngayon. Tikit na tayo. Net touch. A lot of the points coming from net violation errors. Laura Shaw. 13 to 12 ang ating talan. Pabor sa Cool Smashers. Nabor. Quick attack para kay Sato. Sato. Quick attack. That's the NU connection at work. Great execution of that quick play, of course, coming from a good pass. Ooh, miscommunication. And Bolli is able to give the Water Defenders their first lead, or rather, the lead back. Sa pagkakataon na yun kanina, Anton, ano talagang... Target na in between two receivers. At ngayon, get up sa first ball. Itong cool smashers, Ann. Serve. 
we'll see Wally eyeing her target. Let's see kung uh, saan niya papupuntahin. It's the same target as, as what we saw kanina. Valdez off of combination play. Galanza. Drop ball para kay Galanza. Work for her. Sometimes you just have to break all those uh, attacks. Ano, inaasahan ng uh, water defenders. May open sa that drop ball just did Galanza very well. Serving for Creamland. Nabor, Soltones, Valdez, Dao. Sato, back set para kay Soltones. And Gretzel Soltones showing us one of the tricks up her sleeve. Lamang ang water defenders contra sa Cool Smashers 16 to 14. This match is brought to you by Repisco, making delightful moments possible anytime, anywhere. Good vibes all around. Yan ang dala ng mga tagahanga ng Cool Smashers as they have been supporting, proudly supporting their squad sa kabuan ng Premier Volleyball League. And now, they have embarked on this best of three semifinal series against the number one team. At the end of the preliminary round, it's on Water Defenders. And the zone, the Sixteen to fourteen, ang ating talaan. Sato, Dao receives it. Cabano, si binigay kay Valdez. Great target for Valdez going down the line. Itong Cool Smashers, Anton, talagang hindi nila hinahayaan na lumayo ano, at lumaki yung uh, kalamangan ng water defenders. Itong Cool Smashers kasi sanay sa bigdikan na laban. Dao! That was uh, a bit too long for Kaupin. Sinasabi na kay Coach Tai, she knew that she put a lot on that hit. Mm -hmm. And she will try to control the swing of her arm sa susunod the opportunity. Malabanan. Cabanos. Binigay kay Kutika. Nabor. Bali. Soriano is able to get it through. Well, Soriano already saw that she had two blockers in front of her. Dinaan sa bilis ang drop ng bola. So much force in that one. For the serve. 17 to 16. Nabor. Net touch. Nabor. Net touch. Mm -hmm. We're tied at 17. We are tied at. It, this has been the story of the first set. and daming uh, palitan. <laughs> tas nagtatay rin sila. Service. Okay, so we muna natin ang mga tweets from Liz Ken So. Yes, go, 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 cool smashers, Eliza Valdez and Kutika. Fighting. You. <laughs> An ano ba yan? I can. Ano ba yan? Mukha mahilig sa. Ang hirap po. Sa, sa K pop or whatever. Si Brian James naman ang sabi niya, good luck. Creamline Cool Smashers all the way from Puerto Galera. Go Kutika, Eliza Valdez, at Alex Cabanos. So ating mga fans, mahilig sa ano, gustong gusto yung, yung 3BB connection. Now we have Angel from Rosario, Batangas. Lipad at Laban. Gusto ko yun. Magamit nga minsan yung linya yun. Lipad at Laban. Handa nang lumipad at lumaban itong si Kutika. Kaya lang, Nakabang among mga blockers. Oh. Panibago pagkakataon. And Kenny was there to slam it down. To Kung malakas ang palo ni Dao, matibay naman ang mga braso ni Kenny.
เราก็ไม่สูงไม่ต้องสูงนะเฮ้ยเฮ้ยน็อตไฮน็อตไฮนะมีเดียมมีเดียมนะโอ้ดีไฟดีบุเปลี่ยนเปลี่ยนวันตัวที่ Alright, so so it looked like Coach Tai was telling Alex na magmasado mataas yung kanyang pagtos medium lang daw. Tama yan because setting that high ano allows allows the blockers on the other side to read it, time it, talagang mababantayan nila yan. Let's see if she will adjust this time around. Cabanos. Dao. Avoiding the blockers, pero nakaabang si Pantone. Valdez from the back row. And Eliza Valdez with a back row bump. 18 to 19. It's the 3BB connection again at work. Learning in Thailand and applying those learnings here in the Philippines. Soltones looking on as Cabanos sends a sharp serve their way. Keri! Gulang. We saw that she wanted to go for this open space on the left, uh, left side of the court of uh, Cool Smashers. But despite that height, Anton, Pinabos pa rin. 19 all. Tama ka, Anna. Yung sinabi mo kanina, tuwing nakakalamang itong uh, water defenders, hindi bumibitaw itong cool smashers. But they, they have to avoid those errors. Definitely. It, I mean, historically, as we take a look at how their games panned out, yun nga, nung gusto nila makabawi uh, against the water defenders. So, Ang maganda dyan, makakuha sila ng uh, comfortable lead. Um, comfortable lead in this game. But that will be difficult if you have the likes of Wally right there at the net. Look at this. Hindi lang sa opensa. But uh, her experience really allowing her to be a uh, very, very good uh, blocker there at the net. Cabanos, binigay dito kay Galanza right in between the blockers. Soltones, Boli. Boli. And Boli. that goes long. 20. What, a, what a start to this semifinals match at. That's right. This first set has been very close para sa parehong uh, kuponan. A floater of a serve mula kay Dao. Nabor, Bali, Valdez. Shout will give up a free ball. Pantone, pinasa kay Nabor. Quick attack para kay Sato. Galanza, brigay kay Valdez who goes down the line. Finds the corner. We're tied at Great presence of mind para kay uh, Valdez. Service. Kutika. 21 all. Two straight points mula sa Cool Smashers. Boli. Cabanos. Galanza. Soltones. It's a free ball for the Cool Smashers. Shout with the left hand. Sato back set para kay Nabor. Rakrakin. Pinasa dito kay Cabanos. Valdez. Pumalo. At nakapuntos para sa kanyang kumpanan. May kasama pang high five mula kay Coach Ty Bundit. We 
heard a worried tone sa bosses ni Coach Roger Goreb kasi nga tatlong magkasunod na puntos ang nakuha nitong Cool Smashers, Ann. Tama ka dyan. And very, very uh, particular yung kanyang uh, uh, instructions oh, during that huddle. At ang tinatrya niyang i-correct sa kanyang team yung kanilang uh, positioning sa depensa sa likod because Eliza Valdez has had quite a few points doon sa down the line na yun. Laura Shout using her 6 foot 5 height teaming up with Gemma Galanza who can elevate and they get the kill block 23-21 and Kutika finds the corner set point para sa Cool Smashers everything going right on this side of the court for the girls in pink that's 5 straight points Para sa Cool Smashers. Ano ang nangyari dito sa Water Defenders? Napako sa 21. Sato. Sabi ni Sato, it's not yet over. <laughs> there it is. The quick attack from Risa Sato. From Osaka with love. Cabanos. Shout and Laura Shout is able to get set number one. Para sa Cool Smashers. Panorin natin muli. Shout rising and surprising the Water Defenders for the kill. A six to one finish. Para sa Cool Smashers, the first set. And we will be back for set number two at the Pong semifinals, the Premier Volleyball League Reinforced Conference.